I mean, wow. slip, slip from Russian into uh, what's that? Galakalalia? What do they call it when you're speaking in tongues? Ukulele. I'm speaking ukulele. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's how it started, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think you were saying, Dan? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, something about someone's mother, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. No, that's, uh, you know, living alone, you sometimes want to just hear another voice. So you start speaking in tongues? Uh, well, I, I caught, uh, uh, what was it, Smiley? Pastor Smiley. It was a, a jet black haired uh, old guy who would speak in tongues on his uh, evangel, uh, uh, evangelistic uh, broadcast asking for money. And, and I remember it being so bad. He would just basically devolve into boo boo baba, boo boo baba. I remember that guy. Boo boo baba, boo boo baba, boo boo baba, and I was like, "Shit, I can do better than that." So I just started doing it, and eventually, it just turned into more Russian than speaking in tongues. So, so you have conversations in your house by yourself with yourself speaking in tongues. Hey, don't judge. Listen, whatever stays off the team is Ben. <laughs> don't judge me, Ben. <laughs> We're all hanging on to sanity by a very thin thread. I'm a lonely, lonely guy. <laughs> Some of those threads have snapped. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty good. a whole lot of threads on. I've seen some of the drawings that you guys started cheating mm -hmm. beforehand. Yeah. And yeah, a whole like lot of threads one. on poor little Black Widow. Shameful. I yeah. Shameful. So, Dan, you chose Black Widow as uh, the theme yeah. of the show this week. Huge fan of the movie. Is that because you're a communist? or? Hmm. No, I just love that movie so much. Soviet sympathizer? Yeah, mostly Ooh. communist. Who here, who here believes that Dan hasn't seen that movie yet? I, I'm not going to comment. <laughs> All right, I, may, I may not have seen it yet. <laughs> Possibly. I've seen it. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. I loves, thought the action was great. Strong emotion. Whoa. Yeah. Check out some Casada action. Oh, right. damn. Thanks, Joe. You, know, you notice how Joe always gets the second screen and the giant view of yeah, like, <laughs> oh. it? I'm not controlling it. You guys are. I. I just saying, maybe you guys need yeah. to consider how you present your art. It's true, right? Oh, you're talking about that, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's, I'm, I'm not, actually, uh, I'm, I'm actually doing a, a Pinotian inspired piece. Lots of leather. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean it, whoa. Logo it's, it's a very cool piece, but if it's really going to be in Pinotian inspired, she has to be sitting down and maybe reading a newspaper. This yeah. is true. This is true. Well, yeah. mine's inspired. Yeah, so let me let me let me change this a little bit. Let's yeah, see. yeah. So, all right, let's uh, let's just do uh, you know, Black Widow sort of sitting here. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now now we're we're talking. Talking. That's what the people want to see. Yeah, yeah. So, Jeff, are you clowning on my piece? Am I clowning on your piece? No, no. Your piece is great. You do sitting great. Let's let, let's take a look at Dave's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dave's very Dan inspired. Yeah, that's super wow. Dan inspired. I mean, if she were reading a newspaper and looked a little morose, that would be more of a Dan piece. Yeah, there's a little, there's a little too much life. <laughs> Those eyes definitely have life to them, which is you know, she yeah, cares about living. Yeah. Hmm. So, so basically, uh, this, isn't, this isn't a Black Widow show. This is a Dan Pinotion show. It's an ode to me, really. Well, uh, Jeff kind of just went out on his own, though. I know. I, we didn't this, talk about it ahead of time. This yeah, we not should have discussed it. Jeff going for the sexy sexy. Yeah. Jeff is feeling a little, you know, as we say, randy today. Is that what well, I, Yeah. Listen, I got to get it where I can. And this is apparently the way I do it. This is how you're getting it. This is how I'm getting it. Jeff, I'm curious where you got the reference for that particular book. I'm drawing it from memory. I mean, it seems like I've seen it somewhere before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, a, very, a very distant memory. Oh God, I was yeah. I was young and adventurous. Here, here, is, here is the illustration you requested of Black Widow. Oh, when did you do that one? That was an old drink and draw. You were there for that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> she, she is <laughs> in New York City. 
She's sitting, there's a newspaper, and there's a slipper, apparently. I love it. She but shot how, someone through the paper. How would you know that that's black wood? Oh, I see the, the, the bathrobe. The, the little uh, symbology yeah. there. Yeah. So 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 black widow owns a bathrobe that has her. Why not? She has the, she has the outfit. Why can't she have the, the bathrobe? She's got a belt with the symbol on it. Why not? Yeah. She got all sorts of apparel. Yeah, I just think that you know, after day work, the last thing she wanted to do is wear the logo. I There's mean, another sitting black widow. Oh my That's god, you are so good at those. <laughs> if you want, I'm the go-to guy for black widow sitting. The only one who does sitting better is Alex uh, Malley. Yeah, You're definitely a chair artist. There's no yeah. doubt. Yeah, you know, listen, I'll tell you, Stephen. I'll tell you a little secret. When, when, when at Marvel, when we're thinking about assigning a cover, and an editor says, "I really need like a, a cover, Black Widow sitting cover." Mm -hmm. uh, two names come up: Dan and Alex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time, Jeff. You've but almost Dan got the market cornered. Yeah. yeah, almost. Alex, honestly, I hate to admit it, a little bit better at the sitting pose than me, but I'll Dude. get there. It's Alex, something to strive for. I would never admit it in public, but Alex is a great artist. Alex, is, <laughs> Alex is, um, never admitted. He, he he's yeah. quite skilled. He's all right. He is. He, I have to admit, he's very skilled. Hmm. And, he makes great, and he makes great baklava. Really? Yeah. You know, well, is, I don't think that's true. No. Probably not. Well, it, if it, it is true. The answer certainly would be the one to know it. Not from Dan's point of view. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, Jeff. Yes, sir. Matt wants to know, since you missed last week. Yes. Are we going to talk about how you finally made bail from the Vegas trip? Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of ways to pay bail. There's cash. There's a bond. And then sometimes there's just an exchange. Whoa, services. A, a goods and services. <laughs> Where was that when the story happened? Okay. Bodily fluids? Well, you try not to leave any DNA behind, Dave. That's a rookie move. That's bad form. <laughs> amateur. Total amateur. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was uh, that last night was hard. I was very tired. It was rough on you. Yeah. How did you actually go to bed? Or did you no. just uh nope. go I back went, to the room? Jeff did not sleep. I went back to the room. I got, I packed up everything. I left my iPad behind. I was so tired. I completely forgot it. Yeah. And then I and I deliriously got on a plane. You it, was a, it was a perfect Vegas trip. Yeah, you got you got to leave an expensive iPad behind. Yeah, no facial tattoos. Though. I'm a little disappointed. It's true. I got away without any kind of um, without any new scars or tattoos. Yeah, you didn't leave any D and D behind, but you left the damn iPad. So you know. <laughs> right. Oh, good trip. Good times. It was fun. It was eventful. It was fun. Coquito cool. definitely knows how to uh, treat people. I'm sorry, what? I said Torpedo definitely definitely did some good hosting there. Oh, great. They yeah, I thought you talking about me. No. Well, yeah, Ben, that was uh, that was great. And then Joe, thank you very much for setting that all up. That was good times. It was great to see Quan. Yep, he's fun. Quan's my agent. For those who are wondering, a little bit of a maniac. Quan <laughs> yeah. for a guy for a guy who doesn't drink and gets up early in the morning to go running. <laughs> <laughs> he's jogging. It was like a thousand degrees, and he's up there jogging. Yeah, I mean, he's in good shape. I mean, you got to be those abs, right? You gotta, you gotta respect that. Man, he, looks like, he looks like forty pounds. No, I kept commenting on his on his physique. And I think I made him uncomfortable. I, honestly, well, I mean, though, it's I think the, if any of us had gone running in that heat. I would have just dropped five that. minutes. We probably yeah. would have dropped forty pounds too. It was True. Just, yeah, he wasn't that impressive if you put that if you put yeah, it into context. I mean, if you think about it that way. Yeah, I mean, right. when he was like, "Yeah, I got up at four thirty in the morning to go running," we were still up. Yeah, we were we were also running around in a quest for pancakes. pancakes. Right, putting on weight, not losing it. Though. <laughs> That's yeah, true. We never found yeah. pancakes. So. so when I got back, I went to karate the other day, and uh, my sensei walked. I walked in. He goes, "Oh, you got fat." <laughs> oh, man. Nice guy. Hey, you got a cobra you got, tie. You got fat. Pay me. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like somebody's going to need another workout. Yeah. yeah. He's, He's like, like bad things. <laughs> because I didn't recognize you. You got fat. That's terrible. Yes. This guy's going to get, this guy's going to get canceled real quick. Oh, yeah. He's a killer. 
Did you kick his ass? You should kick his ass right there. I, I, there's no way. <laughs> I wish I could. Well, Dan, what How old is the guy? 78. Oh, you, could, you might be able to do it. I don't know. He's still pretty damn good. Hmm. Hmm. 78. Yep. 78. He's still. I can't imagine moving well enough to kick someone's ass at the age. He is still. He's 78, and he uh, is is super fast, and still can kick uh, six foot like to your head. Ouch. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, but you know, Dan doesn't get impressed by that kind of stuff. No, no, it's true. Dan always like to find find. Always well, I mean, if the things. guy could kick Dan's head, that's not. That can he good. kick that high? I mean, uh, no matter. <laughs> I mean, even though it's it's a visual, you know, it's an illusion. Dan is the same height as I am. <laughs> not, not even <laughs> close. We saw we did this in It's days. true. How, how much of that is Dan's hair, though? That's true. Right? Yes, I mean the hair does. It is deceptive. I have magnificent, uh, you know hair on the you know just skyrocketing to this the ceiling oh damn what what is what what is happening did you say is that what you prepared that's what i've done <laughs> you said you already down the last five minutes, practically yeah. done jeez louise no. man I, i'm inking it the same as you guys all right you mean you're inking it twice <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i already inked it now i'm re-inking that's my are you going to do a better just, job the second time around? I fix all the mistakes. I'm just going to add a little more flavor. Try yes. not to disappoint. It's impressive. Thank you. Okay. She's not sitting. She's not sitting. <laughs> up. No one's going to. No one's going to want this. It looks. I mean, the Kremlin's right. pretty Joe, cool. Joe, do you have a cover that has the same? Yeah, pose? Joe. Did you have you done this drawing already? I, I feel no, like I've seen this. No, but it does remind yeah. me of a JG Jones piece. Oh, uh -huh. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's JG. I feel like JG. I've seen it before. Or I, or Adi Granoff could have done that. Maybe Adam Hughes. I don't no, know. I think it's Google it. I'm sure you can find <laughs> Google it. Google it. Do it. Just Google it. Google it. Google it. Google it. So. Well, I actually we want to actually talk about Black Widow. I mean, I mean, do you guys? So, what my first experience with Black Widow, I think, was the George Perez Black Widow. Do you guys have a comic book memory of the character? You like, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. <laughs> I like her, her as a I character. Remember, I remember I really first got invited into the world of Black Widow, and I call her Black Widow, I don't use the new name everybody else uses. Um, what's the What's I'm not going to hate myself oh, for asking this, but what's the on. new name? Come on, Jeff. I, I don't. Come on. I don't. I don't know. Huh? Natasha? I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but I, oh, I, I think with Marvel Fanfare, George Press has done another cover, and they're like, George, knock it out of the park if you don't mind. And he's oh, like, yeah, that no was problem. a great one. Listen, I, I don't want to brag. So uh -huh. I'm just, just going to stop right here. I want it. Yeah. Joe, you've drawn a Black Widow, right? Uh, yeah, probably, I think I've drawn her in covers and stuff, but uh, no, I was uh, I was lucky enough to sort of be at Marvel Nights when uh, Devin Grayson and J.D. Jones did their run and uh, and created Yelena from the movie. That is such a good run. His work on that was outstanding. Oh, God, it's breathtaking. Yeah. Breathtaking, and and it was it was also the cool part about it was that it was um, you know Black Widow was not our initial Marvel Knights launch, right? It was you know, Daredevil, Punisher, Black Panther, and Humans. So Black Widow was sort of phase two, and yeah, you know, there's a little bit of nervousness that goes up goes on with that because you're like, oh, you know, phase one worked, but you know, will phase two, will the fans, yeah, and, phase two, and, man, they, they they just knock it out of the park, and they, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? But uh, again, it's, it's so much of that stuff from, from the Marvel Knights uh, era ended up in the movies, which is kind of cool, you know? Um, so. Do they, they intend to write it as a. Because it's a. I got it as in the trade paperback. I mean, what, did she design the um, the stories to be sort of cinematic that way? It's just it's writing the way that JG was drawing. It was, it was a really good combination, you know? 
uh, I know JT was exhausted afterwards because he was, you know, he, he really wrote, he really just like, it, it, it was a, it was, it was kind of a painted book, even though it, you know, because he, he did all the gray tones. Right. Um, and then I think it was Brian Haberlin uh, in the studio who did the, uh, the coloring on it, uh, off the gray tones. But, but there was, there was a lot of work that JG did on those pages. Uh, you know, it just, it, again, it was, it was defining work for his career, I think. Uh, Absolutely. You know. Did he do gray tones directly on the board or do it in, in Photoshop? No, he was on boards. If I, if I remember correctly, he was, he was, uh, <clears throat> you know, his wash on the board. Wow. Yeah. Those was, originals must be stunning. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, it's, it's just stuff that nobody was really doing that. It, it, you know, oh, I do it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, every book I do is that way. You do it now after JG. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, I, just, <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, people, people had, had done those books, you know. Maybe, yeah, but, but you know, I'm just saying that JG, you know, to do it on a, on a mainstream Marvel title, at that oh, time. that's probably true. He's yeah, probably the first you know, one. You, you didn't. You wouldn't have the guts to do that. Then. I, you're right. Then you have. The, you, you probably have the guts to like, uh, uh, you know, challenge, uh, just you know, seventy year old karate coach. I so, would actually. I'm going to go on a limb. I would challenge Jeff's seventy year old. Um, of course you would. Yeah, of course you would. He's seventy eight. I, I challenged Jeff's another master of his before. Jeff didn't like that. Well, oh. I mean. Dan just kind of a he just he kind of like is a wandering samurai. He'll just go yeah. from dojo to dojo, oh, studio, studio. <laughs> fighting people. A ronin. Yeah, a, a ronin, if you will. Yeah, I was a bit of a ronin. Right. I mean, wasn't that the name on your car? Was it Ronin? I was had it? a I had a Fiero, um, you know, one of the most powerful Pontiacs ever made. <laughs> It's true. It's true. And, you did uh, have that. I was such a I was such a Frank Miller fan that I I had a, um, a Ronin license plate, and then I got a, I got signed by Frank. God, that is so unbelievably sad. Oh my God, is it that yeah. one, or is it magical? That's pretty. Sad. pretty one, I think that's pretty wonderful. It was it was it a black Fiero? <laughs> it was a, it was that a was light black, blue was Fiero. It? It was a light blue. Blue. No, it was a, it was a silver Fiero. Mm. Oh man! It was a very fast car. Well, I don't know if right. I do that. Let's put it that I way. I mean, Dan drove it very fast. I did drive fast. Reckless. <laughs> yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Like a lunatic. I did drive like a. Like a Ronin? Did you drive it like a Ronin would? Like a Ronin. I pretended I was a living, breathing Ronin. Wow. I thought you were an urban barbarian. This what, was is that, what, was that, what was that the big thing you made up for yourself back then, too? So the you know what your problem is? I'm going to tell you right now, and this might help you in life. Yeah, you don't you. have a nickname. <laughs> is that, and so you're very jealous. You don't it, remember the nickname you gave him on uh, last night in Vegas? No, what would I give him? Joey Q? Joey the Q? That's just what like a, that's no, like, I can't say it on the air. That's, that's oh, uh, oh man. I didn't hear it. You got to tell I me for like a sweet nothing into Joe's ear. What happened? You, you don't remember slapping your hands down on the bar and screaming about how you've had it with Joe and no nicknames. Wow. No, well, I, wish I, I wish I did remember. Wow. Was I there then? I was there. You were there. You were, there. You, you were hiding from the guy that was the puck fan, but you were there. Oh, the fan that was there. Okay. Yeah, the alpha. Well, I might, I might have, I might have been inebriated. It's uh, might, might, might have, might have been. <laughs> so Dan gave me a nickname. Yeah. Right, now I want to know the nickname. Dan, no, Dan do you have, nickname. do you have the wherewithal for some serious questions? Of course. Uh, directed specifically at you from Adam Brooks. At, at me? Yes. I, 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 I can't so. wait for this. Okay. I'm, my I'm dream come true. Someone else there, asked There are two questions. questions. I'll ask them one at a time. Perfect. That's the best way for me to understand them. Yeah. Dan, Talk really slow. Yeah. And <laughs> you still do the Extreme Studios style. Oh, can I still do it? That's the um, question. I probably could. It would probably take a little bit of um, getting used to, uh, but I could I could do it. I mean, it's it's it's, it's all about the uplighting, if I recall. You're kind of a chameleon as an artist, able to adapt. I am. I think I, I think I could. Hmm. Okay. And the follow-up question. I don't know if there's any call for it. That's the only call. 
the follow-up question, how did you go about creating your new style? Um, I went to a life drawing class. I, I started, I got kind of out of comics and I figured out very quickly that I'm, I, I was having a hard time drawing. I was basically asking uh, Jeff to draw a lot of stuff for me. And, I, and Jeff, was, Jeff has a career, so he can't just draw everything <laughs> for me. Um, so I, I said, I'll go to a, a life drawing class. There's a guy who's always in the San Diego um, uh, Comic Cons. I, I forget his name, but he always had a booth. And um, he was in San Diego. I, I was like, that's fun. I always had fun in San Diego. I went there. And uh, unfortunately, I, I learned real quick that I was I, not that good. So it was a real wake up call. And I, I probably could have not come back to the, uh, the drawing class. Um, it wasn't even a class. It was just uh, like a art study, like you drew. Um, that was that figure drawing class where you did the, uh, with the, the tonal stuff, right? With the white. Yeah, it was just a typical life drawing. So the, the instructor is this guy's also named Jeff. And um, he, he basically kind of, would look at your stuff, maybe give you a, a, a critique here and there. And, uh, but, but he wouldn't, he'd help you if you asked for it. Um, but man, I, I went home and I was like, man, I'm a professional artist. And this is, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm drawing. It doesn't even look like anything like this model whatsoever. So it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a wake up call for me. And uh, I sucked it up and kept going and, and improved little by little and learn how to draw actual people um, that weren't based on just like how I perceive, you know, John Byrne to, to draw or, or how I thought, you know, you know, someone, someone like Jim Lee can actually draw. Um, but I was learning to draw based on looking at Jim Lee. If that makes sense. So Dan, when did you go through your period where, where I was your biggest inspiration? Uh, probably right off, right off the bat. If I'm, yeah, so if I'm not kidding, you know, you, I was, I was very impressed with. Um, oh, stop! Stop! No, very. <laughs> I'm not. You know, you know, I love to joke, but um, no, I was very, I was very impressed that you knew exactly what you wanted out of um, comics and how to get it, and uh, and I was kind of just. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I want, I wanted to destroy it. You wanted to oh, yeah, right. I forgot that was your agenda from the very beginning. Yeah, 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 according to the internet, I, I'm still trying. <laughs> still yeah. trying. Clearly, I suck at this job because I can't. <laughs> yeah, see you it. have yet to destroy it the way you I should. Can't destroy the industry. I mean, you know, <laughs> right. from a, a supervillain point of view, I'm the worst. It's like I suck. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've, you've gotten older. You've, I think you've lost the fire you had before for destroying the industry. Yeah, it's for no, I'm, still, I'm still trying. Oh. Yeah, but it's a young man's game. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a younger man's game. So who's who's trying to destroy the industry now? You, as you well know. as you, as well as you did during your heyday. No, no. just right uh, now. Who's the, who's the new destroyer of the industry? I'm, you know, I mean, take them out. Take that person out. Where it is? Yeah. I don't know. It's Frank Thierry, I think maybe. No, Frank. It's too much Frank wishes. <laughs> right, it's it's too much work. Frank called uh, me today. I was too scared to call him back. Frank called me yesterday. Huh. Should I not have picked up? I don't know. I don't know what he wanted today because I didn't have the I didn't have this the strength to call him. I remember Dan when you were doing those uh those I love those figure drawing those you did them oversized on what that that almost that brown butcher paper. Yeah, that's the way everybody um like like if you go to like a figure drawing class um, like at, at a college level they kind of. It's just like newsprint you draw on, really. Hmm. Yeah, so, I love that technique. Scene. I love I love what you were doing on that. I remember when we would go to uh, Hades on Sixth and do the figure drawing workshops. That um, I was the only like I was still drawing a ballpoint pen, and everyone else was doing actual real drawings with uh, charcoal and <clears throat> like real pencil and the white overtones. I thought that stuff looked amazing. Oh, what an anatomy sounds like too much. <laughs> yeah, it, but it was so much fun, Joe. Like those were great times. Oh yeah, we had a blast. Yeah, I missed. I missed. Those are the things I missed the most about Los Angeles is just how much art there is being done there. Hmm. Good times. Graffiti. Yeah. 
where you mentioned, speaking of graffiti, that's where I met Jim, Jim Food. Doing graffiti? Or the, the figure really drawing class? Graffiti, but uh, certainly, certainly causing a ruckus everywhere he went. Yes. Yeah. He still does my favorite like fig, live figure drawing classes, where, not classes, but where he actually draws on a woman as opposed to just drawing the woman. Where he defaces a woman? Well, I mean, he, he makes her, he turns her into a, a special Jim Food work of art. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty badass. He's, yeah, he's what, a what, a, what a racket. <laughs> yeah, right. He's really got it wired in. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he is definitely like a inspiration to all of us now. Yeah. In that he is living the artist's life. So, Jeff, uh, folks have noticed you're not drawing with the ballpoint pen this evening. No, not tonight. Tonight, I'm actually I've been trying to um, to learn how to ink and get better at inking. So I am <clears throat> I've been doing that lately. Hmm. Wow. Are you trying to improve as an artist? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm never going to be as good an inker as Dan or Dave. People who you know. That's not true. You can break uh, well, Dan's hands. Not a bad attitude. You're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm years behind those the the skill level, right? That I've watched those guys do drink and draw stuff for a long time, and it's just the their use of the brush and the the lines they get are impressive. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of an understanding of that. The use and the abuse. The use, the abuse of a line. Yeah. I, I saw the uh, uh, sketch covers. Uh, that you've been posting on your uh, social media. I guess those are the ones from Torpedo. Yeah, that Wolf, the, the one I like the most is that Wolverine came out pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like that too. They look good. Really nice. Thanks, I'm man. I was impressed with your full body sketches. I know. I'm. Everyone else did. Everyone else did headshots <laughs> smartly, yeah. and I uh, committed to full body shots. Well, Jeff, it shows that you care about your art. Yeah. <laughs> or that I just am not smart enough to make the distinction. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Joe yeah. agrees. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all, we all. You guys are being nice, but we all agree. All you, have to, you have to learn to loathe your your fans. It's how else can you destroy the industry? Oh God! I mean, I'm gonna eventually do it with, uh, hopefully, some sort of neutron bomb. Yeah, hmm. they'll appreciate that. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Have you ever yeah. done the neutron bomb? The dance? What there's a dance called the neutron bomb? Yeah. Is that from uh the show from uh that movie? Uh, I believe it's from uh Solid Gold. Yeah. Soul Train, perhaps. I know I don't bomb. you know, I'm not much of a dancer. I'm shocked That's... by that, Jeff. You seem in all sincerity like someone that would be a dancing fool. I do uh, well I am a dancing fool. <laughs> Just, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no. So what do you call? What do you call you? We're doing in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm a dancer. You certainly, certainly have happy feet. Yes, I've got the white man overbite down. Yeah. 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 I would not. Des I would not describe any of my. I would never say I had rhythm. Well, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> no, no rhythm. We'd never be accused of that. That's no, not even on my best day. Dan, you want to follow up a uh, question to your questions? Oh yeah, I'll take a follow up. All right. This is this is an episode about Adam and Dan. <laughs> he says he's surprised uh, attending life drawing classes alone made such a dramatic change, which sounds like he didn't think much of your art beforehand. Well, uh, were you also say, looking at different through, artists or books? Was there a different artists or books? Yeah. Um, no, not really. Um, in, in fact, you know, I have a lot of like influences, like a lot of people point out like the, the more Drucker stuff. And I, I don't really study um, more Drucker. I mean, I, I think what happened was I, I looked at so much of that stuff when I was young that it had a, a big influence on me. But when I used to ink, um, I, I would like have Scott Williams black and white pages blown up in front of me. And I, I'd study those. And I'd, I'd you know, we'll do do the warm ups and, and all those things, and it was very, you know, very important to kind of get into the headspace. And now, um, for whatever reason, I think I think just after years of compounding that stuff, um, I, I don't find it as as necessary. 
Hmm. All right, but, there you go, folks. But that yeah, is the most serious Q and A. Yeah, for me, that's pretty serious. But I think it was pretty serious. Honest, it doesn't sound like much, but light drawing really does um, make a big difference. And if if you're an artist and you want to somehow learn, like how do those how do some of those guys do it? How do they understand that stuff? It, it really stems from um, like drawing and understanding how light and light hits a form because that's all these lines are is just indications of light hitting a form that's that's heavy man well it's that's that's cool, man. sorry i started to bring the mood down <laughs> i gotta rethink everything i've done this is crazy. Right. well didn't andrew loomis have seven qualities of a line well didn't that uh did he you remember studying that well, Dan i mean i read books. all his books and uh and I have I have tons of art books as you've seen if you've been to my studio. I have recently, but um, I, I think it I think it comes down to how you in, interpret form. Basically, Dan is not a Lewis fan. No, I love Lewis, but I don't really? want to steal his, um, uh, his way of doing you, things. So you don't like many people. Yeah, I still too. I mean, I, I kind of exclusively steal Joe. Artwork. Yeah, I present it. I present you every day. Uh, How many Joe copiers are there out there? Like people who like they do kind of a like. My style? No. Yeah, have, you ever, have you ever have you ever seen really. like a Joe? Not really. No. No. Hmm. It's not that popular. No, that's why. No, there's like you know you see Jim Lee and it's like you could list off all the. People that were very, very influenced by that, and still, even to this day, there are people that are owe their entire styles to him. Hmm. I'd like to be one of those guys. I'd like to be one of those guys where people were like, uh, you know, the people were swiping your style. Yeah. So, like in forty years, when people are on Facebook and they're like, "Oh, that has a little damp emotion in it." Yeah, I'd like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I like hearing that. They do. They say that. They'll say Mark Drucker. That's it. Well, I, yeah, I do see. Like every time I post something, somebody will say that looks like Mark Drucker, which it does. I, I can see. <laughs> you know, I can see the. I, I would. I would think the same thing. But that's not a great way to compliment an artist. It's well, I guess not. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's. It depends on how it's phrased, right? Like probably, yeah. yeah. I think okay. people generally mean well by it. Yeah, I, I don't think in Dan's case it's like, oh, you rip it off Drucker. I think it's more like, you know, I see the influence. Right. You know? Yeah. It's just when you get it on everything that you post, it starts to. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's like anytime somebody uses a deadline, they go, oh, you're doing Mobius. And I'm like, That's okay. Because <laughs> it's a deadline? I mean, come on. Oh, a deadline, like the, the style? Yeah, yeah. You know, the line didn't have a lot of inflection in it. I mean, I do love, I do love me some Mobius, but you know, the Moe. some Mobius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Moe to me. I used to call him the Moe. You love that. Well, yeah, you were good friends with him. He At loved lunch, him. he loved that when you called him that too, right? Oh, he's the best. He was the best. Always, sad, I never, I never we always pay for lunch. You never let me pay for lunch. Uh, Unlike you guys. Yeah, but did you ever go out to lunch with him? I just, you talking to me? Yeah. No, I never. I <laughs> <laughs> figured. But I know, I know that he would have paid. He, I didn't. Didn't they give him the? Um, didn't they knight him or give him some they sort did. of French Medal of uh, Honor, the Arts of Defeat? If they didn't, they should have. The French no, did. I think he was knighted. Yeah, I think he was knighted. The French have knights. You know what? I mean, they're if they're. Julian, uh, if Julian was up, he'd tell us. Yeah, that's true. The golden dropped rifle. <laughs> that's not Never fire. <laughs> I think the word, the very word of knighthood, the the chivalry comes from the French word for knight, or for a horse, right? For a horse. For riding a horse, isn't that chivalry? Chival. 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 Well, Frank, you'll know. Yes, it'll just sound very guttural. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so Adam has another question, but I feel I can't take it because, you know, this is enough, Adam. 
No, I'm, I want to hear what he's got to say. But nobody else is asking, so, you know. Oh, other people yeah. have asked questions. Oh, so, but, so you're disagreeing right. with the other people. That yeah, yeah, that's it. Come on, gatekeeper. He feels like he's on a roll here. Uh, and speaking of rolls, <laughs> do you guys roll the brush in your fingers the way Neil, at, way Neil Adams says to? <laughs> no. Joe, Joe, I'm going to put you on the screen to answer I this. think Joe should ask for that. Uh, well, no, I, do, I, use, I use a pen. Yeah, digital. But, but no, yeah. but I, I saw that I, I saw that uh, instructional video where Neil was doing that, and uh, I tried doing that. It's it's hard to do, man. I, I don't, you know. Um, I'd be curious to see if Neil does that, like literally does that on his all his work, because it's a it's a tough way to. You know. Let's face it. If Dan can't do it, and I know Dan doesn't do it. Because I I asked, never, I've never even heard of it. It's uh. Well, it was in a book. It's sort of like a Japanese, uh, you know. He, he holds, he holds the pen like this, Dan. And then as he, uh -huh. as he runs it across the page, he rolls it across his fingers, like a sumi brush. Uh, seems like a lot of work, you know. Kind of cool. Seems like is it, does it get a specific line quality? Is that why, or is it just an even dispersion of ink? No, it's just like Neil was just saying. This is how you do it right. Kind of ah, wouldn't it be funny if he just made it up just to just to mess with people? I, mean, I, kind of I, was like, I don't understand how Neil Adams does this. Yeah. The other thing is that he was showing to a to a really really young kid, so I'm like, ah, I think it's, you know, Neil's not gonna do that. Dan would do that. Dan's a terrible person, though. I would yeah. mess with somebody for sure, especially a little kid, especially a child. Look, Joe, Dan, while we have the focus on you, I've got a question for you. Okay. All right. This is from Matt. <clears throat> Says, so not that I don't love hearing about Dan, but a question for Joe. Oh, um, yay, Matt. For your cover artwork on Mall Rats, had you already seen the film previously, or did you just have reference to go off of? Uh, it was just reference. I don't think I'd seen the movie by that point. You know, so I, but I, I honestly don't remember 100%. Yeah, it was like that's right. Right. Yeah, but I, I think <laughs> we had seen it afterwards. Uh, I did one of those too. There you go. Yeah, but nobody nobody asked. Ask uh, I, I did the magic on misfit. First, if I'd known how uh, long it was going to be on the screen, I would have done it way simpler. Because some of the covers were way too complicated, and you couldn't tell what they were. Is that like Joe's? I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> Present company excluded. <laughs> I, mean, I think we can judge that was probably Joe's thing. Uh, I do remember Stealth Freezes was really hard to read, you know, but if you saw the original, you're like, holy shit, this is really good. But, you know, you needed. To, I know Cully, Cully Hamner's was really, really simple, and that one got the most laughs. Did they give you gags to do for the covers, or were you just made your own? No, they, they, they. You know, Cully got the uh, the third nipple clairvoyant chick, and they they gave me the uh, they gave me the idea about the magic guy misfit being uh, like the Incredible Bulk. So I was like, yeah, because I hadn't seen the movie. I don't think any of us saw the movie. No, no. I'm going to say something that people won't like. I've never seen the movie. You've never seen Mallrats? No. I don't know that I believe that. That's true. You never really, I mean, no matter what Dan says, positive <laughs> or negative, you can't quite, you kind of have to take everything with a grain of salt. Well, look, I mean, you know, you didn't see Black Widow when we were doing a Black Widow show. So well, I can accept the fact that he hasn't seen it from start to finish. Mm -hmm. But you owned HBO and, you know, the last 20 years, chances are you've seen Mall Rats at some point. Yeah, but you have to want to watch it. Um, Sometimes you just can't find anything else, Dan. It happens. I've well, been there. Sure. I, mean, I, just, I think it was just not my generation. What are you well, talking about? You're not talking me. about uh, <laughs> Mr. Smith. What are you talking about? It's 100% <laughs> our generation. Your generation was a sweet spot, man. <laughs> I saw a mole. I saw a chase. Was it Chasing Amy? Yes. But you saw it because I, I was I was one of the stars. Yes. Well, also because, they, you know, at the time I had to – see that scene about the inkers where they're like you're not an artist you're a tracer <laughs> and what's wrong with that i think dan Nothing. is still mad about that 
Okay. Um, I, I find the humor in it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 reminds, it reminds me of a story. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah a story. Not a story. I love Anything stories. That. So, so uh, in New York, I, I've had the same dentist like for a million years. And we got into a conversation about Little Shop of Horrors, and I told him how much I loved that scene with Steve Martin as the dentist. Candy and, bar! And he literally, he almost literally threw me out of his office. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he took the whole thing. He's like, he's like, it's so offensive. The dentist and, you know, our job is hard enough without, you know, people, you know, making us seem like we're, you know, masochists. And, You're an anti-dentite. It was. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Suicide. I was just saying it was funny. That's all. It's just funny. Wow. Steve Martin. So I can see how Dan must have taken the anchor thing. He must have, he must have just uh, must have hit him hard. Yeah, I think I wrote a fan letter to, or not a fan, an angry letter to Kevin. Yeah. Like, how I'm dare nice. you? You know. <laughs> Didn't he? Didn't he base uh, the inker inker penciler relationship on you and Jimmy? No, 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 no. He, he actually uh, no, because we joked with him. Nothing like that. So uh, I was going to ask who was in love with who. Right. <laughs> it's it's clear. I'm in love with myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what more could I say? I mean, that movie was just sort of fictionally incorrect because comic book artists never got the girl. That's true. Well, speak hmm. for yourself. Oh, well, right. that's three, true. you guys are married. So. <laughs> well, you eventually got a girl. Got it. We got a girl. <laughs> My wife listened. Well, thank that. God your wives never watched it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's made some progress. Yeah, I'm moving right along. I mean, oh, wow. I might hate this next week. Damn, that came out great. Let's do that. Oh, my God. Black Willow. <laughs> Wait, did I spell it wrong? <laughs> oh, my God. Didn't we do that to Dan a few weeks ago? He, he wrote some, he, he did a logo or something on one of his pages. And yes. Like, yeah. he spelled it wrong. Uh, it was Punisher, uh, right? Uh, yes, yeah. it was nice to get Dan finally. I don't think you guys got me, but um, got you. we got you. Yeah, we got yeah. you. I don't know if you did or not. Come on. <laughs> Only the internet knows. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to watch the tapes, as they say. Yeah, hmm. history will tell. If we publish that one, I don't know. So, so Adam's back with this question again. Should I God, ask Adam? I love it, Adam. He's I'm resilient. Adam's doing good work. Good. He wants to know what are your favorite artist editions? Ooh, that's a good question. I, I think we should start with Dave. Well, the ones I've bought are uh, the Mike Golden Micronauts. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And I bought, I don't think uh, IDW published it, but the Mike Golden uh, G.I. Joe. They did. Yeah, that was that was really good. Um, what else? Oh, I bought the Storenko. Uh, <laughs> the coffee table book, yeah. The, well, the giant artist edition, yeah. There you go, that's fine. And the Wally Wood, nice. What was that that you held up, Joe? We couldn't see it in the small book. Oh, tough, man. Oh, tough. Oh, tough. Nice. This is a great book, unbelievable book. So, but I also love all the Kirby ones. Those are really great books, you know, for people yeah. that, uh. Never get a chance to see the actual original art to be able to. Yeah. Or we're dreaming about possibly owning it at some point. Yeah. That's yeah. Dan. If you're not Dave Mandel. Yeah, exactly. If you can't go to Dave Mandel's house and look at all his art. Yeah. We're stealing. Might, might as well get the scanned copy of all Dave Mandel's art. <laughs> all right. If, yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> So, uh, Dan, what are your favorite artist editions? Um, I like that Mazza Kelly. Um, is there a more Drucker one? Well, there's a Mad Magazine one, yeah. Um, that one's great. Um, and uh, Dave Mazza Kelly, Daredevil, Born Again is fantastic. And there's a Frank Miller at Daredevil that's really good. And then I, I picked up, I think it's Jeff who got it for me. Um, it's, it's the Walt Simonson. Um, one right, Jeff. 
Uh, yeah, I think so. Did I, did I get that to you? Yeah. That was nice to me. Is it the San Diego Comic Con one with a sketch in it? No, this one. This one had. Because um, that's mine. This is the Manhunter one. Yeah. That costs a lot. Jeff wouldn't do that. No, yeah. Jeff was, Jeff's <laughs> generous, but not that. Well, somebody yeah, has my Simonson <laughs> San Diego book, and I don't know who has it. Which one is it? It's the Artist Edition, uh, the first one that IDW did with Walt, and uh, he did a sketch in the front of it, and I. Nice. I let somebody look at it, and somebody's still looking at it. I can't oh, remember. bummer. So, wow. Yeah. wow. So for a minute there, I thought it was a dance house. I don't think it was a theft. I think it was just left. Uh, I think this was, uh, might have been drinking in San Diego. You know. It sounds to me like you're accusing some people. No, no. So you think there's a real I'm not that kind of guy, Joe. Yeah. Is it this one? No, I don't. Well, yeah, actually, I think that is with the manhunt. Maybe it is. Your thing. Might be it. So Dan still. It's the dance ticket. It was probably when your room was Frank and it never uh, made it back to my room. Yeah, maybe that was it. Because I don't think I've ever purchased one myself. So I, I imagined it was Jeff who got it. <laughs> maybe maybe Jeff stole it and then yeah, gave, well, gave it to is, is there a sketch on the inside of the first page? No. Then it's not mine. Wait, how do you know that, that he's telling well, you? Well, so to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually it does, yeah. My, my no, this one is you. I think Jeff personalized them all as part of the deal. Oh, you know what? I think uh, Dunbeer gave me this one. Ah, uh, likely story. Right, yeah, sure. Oh, Dan, I gave you the the Kim the uh, what's his name the Korean guy his name escaped yeah. me at the moment. Uh, That's Kim Jung Ji. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My uh, my artist edition that I that I, I don't have uh, many. Um, I've just got the I've got two. I've got one the Frank Miller Dark Knight, and I've got the Al Williamson Star Wars That's Empire great. Strikes Back stuff. Well, yeah, Williamson? that stuff's amazing. I remember as a kid, I used to uh, clip those out of the newspaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I that mean, guy was, was genius. There was such a, you know, lack of anything Star Wars back then. Like anything I could get my hands on. Yeah, totally. Anything you get your filthy little hands on. That's right, Dan. Hey, Dave, you would know this. Did they ever collect the Agent X-9 stuff that he did? Why would I know that? Yeah, why would you know that? Is you a fan? <laughs> no, I was a fan of Star Wars. That's, oh, I mean, not that I'm not a fan of Al Williamson, but you know, I was buying it or I was clipping them because of Star Wars. Oh, I got you. All right. You and Al Williamson notoriously got into a huge argument, as I recall. We did over brushes. Yeah. Nearly no. came to blows. Well, he you disagreed he with Al Williamson on brushes. He, well, it actually, it wasn't brushes; it was nibs, and that's where uh, Speed Wolf was inspired by. I was going to say he didn't want to use the Speed Wolf. Then, so no. Yeah. <laughs> well, he wouldn't tell me what what nibs he used, and so I went on to create my own. So he really kept it a secret. He wouldn't tell you. Yeah, he was a very uh, secretive guy. <laughs> I don't want people stealing his mojo. I don't buy that for a second. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, he seemed pretty cool when I met him. You don't think Dave got as notorious? We got. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think Dave got the the, the secret of sneaky side. I just wanted some secret sauce. Uh, you wouldn't share. Everyone normally everyone loved Al except for Dave. Yeah. Just Dave. Dave's yeah. kind of a problem like that though. Yeah. I was like truly like the you know the greatest gentleman in the street. <laughs> yeah. And yet Dave found the sore spot. <laughs> he found the one thing that he wouldn't share. I can see that. We all have our dark sides. Come on. Yeah. It's true. Everyone's got something. Yeah. And who, do you, who are you enemies with, Dan? Um, I don't think I have any real enemies. In the Me? I mean, really? Really? Jeff's uh, seventy-eight-year-old sensei. I yeah, a, I want a piece of that old man. Yeah, that guy's probably going to kill me. He's he's Jeff's, Jeff's told me stories about him. I'm sure now he's like, okay, Dan's on. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I mean, didn't you watch Karate Kid? Mr. Miyagi was. Like, He's just going to show up my house. So everything Jeff has told me about this guy, the guy sounds like a real problem. He's lethal. Uh, does he have a spatula? <laughs> yeah. Hey, One Jeff, of the, you've, you've, money. you've heard that uh, that comedy get, uh, skit called Boot to the Head, right? Uh, no. Oh, I got to send it to you. It's, uh, right. you. You should share it with your sensei. Why don't you, why don't you give us some of it, Dave? Uh, I'm not going to butcher it by uh, trying to rip it. What's on there? You guys will make fun of me for doing it. So I'm not yes. falling into that trap. Yes. That's exactly the point. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you take us for? We you, should definitely, Dave. you should definitely Google boot to the head. It's it's freaking hilarious. All right. I will. Jeff's favorite movie when I met him was the, the, the Fist Footway. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. That was pretty good. I was not expecting it to go where it went. Yeah. Hmm. It was pretty dark. Got a little was the lettering down there. Was the that. that was um Look, Dave, you're not the only one doing the uh little improv improv there with the uh the widow. Yeah, but you could have broke out a red marker and it's not red over yet. Red. True. Well, it's too late now. It's inked. No. Yeah. Well, I can't go back unless I use like an opaque. Yeah. You know what? Have my, to get my some white out involved. And... My little stupid figure drawing won't save me now, will it? No. Nope. <sighs> did, did you steal those paint pens from the torpedo? Uh, I wish I did. By the way, those things are awesome. We gotta get myself some of those. I want to get the uh, paint pen that Dave has. The uh, was it the Oso Boco or whatever the Uso Boco? The what? The Porcarino. <laughs> the Porcaroso? Yeah. The Ponderosa? The like Ponderosa what? pens or whatever you use, Dave. The Molotov? Yeah. Yeah, those well, are that's close. Cool. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> if I had those. My I, I, I think I'm done. I think I've actually. What? What? Yeah. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you will ink that possibly? Yeah, I think I'll ink that next week. On the next episode of Drink and Dry oh. Social Club. Yeah. Well, if, if, if we actually do one, because you know how. Yeah. Um, yeah we're always on the Come on, We got two almost. weeks in a row in our. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a lot. I think I'm doing good going along. Let's see. Let's have a look at Jeff in his scandalous pose. Yeah. In there. Throwing some solid black in there. The widow. Jeff. Very seductive little pose there. It's, uh, it's, it's all about the, about the line. The widow in the centerfold. Hmm. Yep, yep, hmm. yep. I mean, I guess I could have put the logo more than the, just the, the symbol. I could have written Black Widow. That might have been cool. Hmm. That's always appreciated on this show. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, Jeff, if you're going to, if you're going to give that drawing a title, what would it be called? Um, I would call it uh, Honey Pot. Ah, oh, the Honey Pot. <laughs> Ted's wife is uh, very scandalized by your yeah. drawing, Jeff. Joe's pose is far less offensive than Jeff's. All right. How well, I mean, offense. I mean, I am going for offensive. That's my thing. Well, <laughs> well done, sir. Success. Thank you. What about Dave? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. not offended. Whoa. Johnson in the house. I, I am That's a little nice disappointed time, that no one drew her in the pose that they made the big. The actual fighting for. pose. Yeah, that'd have been too easy. Too easy. Yeah. That was the yeah. obvious thing to do. Well, well, see, that's why I'm not the artist, I guess. We don't do the obvious. <laughs> Are you telling me that? Uh, <laughs> this show is so sophisticated. Yeah. We would never. Dave, Dave, is that marker running out? Yeah, but I I'm using it because it's running out. Oh, okay. That's planning ahead right there. Wow. Yeah. You, you have like the box of mostly dead markers next to you? I do. Wow. Man, I'm learning so much tonight. 
<laughs> you don't see them say those are special effects brushes. I wonder if there's a market for that. You just sell like used markers. <laughs> Dave's used, used nibs. Mostly yeah. dead markers. Yeah. You just call them dry brushes. Slow nibs. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, slow nibs for sure. So, Joe, did you ever do figure drawing? How did you get so good? Uh, I don't think that good. Uh, yeah, no, of course I did figure drawing. Sure. Absolutely. Joe actually went to school, Dan. I know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that's true. If I actually had gone to school, I, I would have, yeah. I could have. With Will, I, 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 I love figure drawing. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm signed up for some fall classes um, just because uh, I think it's always, it's always good to stay tuned. Tuned in, dialed in, you know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah, so. When's the last time you did a class, Dan? Oh, uh, probably after COVID, right around the, when COVID was happening. Yeah. They were still doing yeah. it at the other door, right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, that place is great. <laughs> drink, and draw, drink and draws are almost like a class, right? Well, we have live models sometimes. It's a master class. Well, yeah, when the gallery girls would show up, um, it was definitely a figure drawing class. Yeah, just without an instructor. Those were good times. Yeah. Jennifer, Sarah Streeter. Um, What's so funny is like we, Dan and I have both drawn um, this one model of Jennifer so many times that I, I, I will occasionally still draw her nose just out of habit. She had certain perfect, angles. She had, she still has the perfect Disney nose. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's real. It's like hers. It's both. She carries it around with her. Yeah, I mean, she. I think she owns it. <laughs> She's ah, it. Good for her. All right, gentlemen. I'm afraid that I must be taking off. It's Teresa time. Well, if you don't think you can hold out for three more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> Maybe Adam has one more question. Yeah. I will take. I'll take an Adam question or well, listen to another Adam question. You know, Adam has a question, but it's for Dave. Oh, oh, yes. Calm down. Right. Well, Jeff, do you want to stick around to hear what Dave's answer will be? I do. I am going to stick around for that. All right. Are you ready? I am ready. Take this seriously, too. Don't, don't Dave, any chance you'll write and draw a weird as hell Closian type comic? A what comic? Kind of, oh, Clownsian. Uh, maybe. <laughs> and there's your answer, Adam. There you go. I mean, I, I can't I'm predict. I'm so the glad I stuck around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you know. One hundred percent worth the wait. What, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Woo! Committal. I'm keeping the hope alive. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, with an answer like that in that that response. <laughs> oh, I, I don't. I don't think we can top it. So maybe we should end. Wait, it. wait, wait! Ask you the same question. <laughs> Jeff, you want the same question? Yeah, ask Joe the same question. Oh, Joe, the same question. Here's my answer, maybe. Maybe. No, it's good. <laughs> maybe. The right says, answer. We'll take point. it. <laughs> I love it. Classic. That's a classic. It's not answer. a no. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's not All right. A, it's not let's a, get a final good. look at Jeff's widow. Okay. Scandalous widow. Hang on, there now you go. it's Jeff. There you go. There you go. Oh, That's there we go. Wow, Jeff. My most offensive drawing to date. I got a better name for it. Spread Widow. Oh, Spread Widow. Dang. Mm, that's offensive. Yeah. That offensive. <sighs> hey, I didn't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I'll, I'll own that. What makes it offensive? Okay. And then, then Dave's uh, Widow in the Coffee Shop. Getting there. You know that reminds me of Dave? Stacy Walker. Oh yeah, yeah. A little bit. She has. Like, she kind of rocks that hairstyle sometimes. I mean, the eyes are. Uh, do you know that actress Polly Walker? Not really. Oh, oh. It, yeah, British. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, she was in. Oh God, what was she in? Spartacus. Oh, the, the TV series. She's Spartacus. No, I was thinking of John Cleese's wife from Faulty Towers. No, no, Polly Walker. Uh, oh. Anyway, look her up. She's got the Polly Walker. 
She's got the greatest eyes. I mean, hmm. just amazing eyes. Uh, I well, was um, a little I'm amazed that Dan for. pulled a Faulty Towers reference out. I almost <laughs> made my son Basil, Jeff. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's Ask Elena next time you see her. That, can't be, that, can't that was up for grabs. She just heard Basil, from all right. room, That's true. We all right. Basil. Basil. What's her name was? Polly Walker? Polly Walker. Um, but yeah, Not she's Paul Walker. No, no Paul Walker, Walker passed away yeah. to a Ferrari accident. Can't find Paul Walker. No, but that does that does look like that model, and she does a lot of like. She, drawing, she so. definitely has those eyes. All right. She's, I mean, she's got. Fair she's enough. got that classic, uh, almost like uh, Busema like structure to her face. The there's some. Too. There's a wide range of uh, images here. Well, she's been doing it a long time. Yeah, she's so. got a long career. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay, we'll accept it. All right. Dan would like to share with the class. Apparently, I'd like to share this with the class. So I'm looking uh, that came out great. You should be able to sell that for at least a dollar. Nice work, man. I'm, I'm gonna add some. Um, I'm gonna add some pencil to it. Maybe some yellow. Mm. Uh, maybe red in this case. Oh, fine. Go for it. Fine. Adam, you don't get to ask any more questions. <laughs> if it wasn't for Adam, we wouldn't have a show. Thanks for the show, Adam. <laughs> Next Thanks week's Adam. guest. Cheers, Adam. Adam Brooks. Yeah. All right. So we're ready to wrap this up. Anybody got anything last? Joe, any word? Like in the morning, Joe always comes to us with, with like a word, some words of wisdom. Maybe you could end the show with some words of wisdom. Some deep thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. Uh, yeah, don't play with your junk. <laughs> I think and Joe means art supplies. Right. Uh, nibs. Nibs primarily. Nibs. Sound advice. Uh, All right. Good. Well, there you have it. From the mouth right, of Joe. Hands off your nibs. Oh, yeah. she is pretty. Oh, there she is. Polly yeah. Walker. Wow. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, she's right there. Right there. Things Google can do. All right, folks. Well, thanks for being with us this evening. It's been relatively sane. Sorry. Uh, and we managed to more or less stay on kind of a topic. Yeah. In the world of words of Dave, we'll be back next week. Maybe. 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 